Hello everyone, welcome to this session in which we are going to talk about the topic wise expected question breakup in CAT 2020 examination. We have pulled out uh, this expected number of questions from every topic based on the trend of last few years. Before we uh, get into that, uh, it's very important for you to understand that why should you trust us for CAD? You know, why, why should you trust any information which we are going to share with you, you know, when it comes to CAD 2020 preparation? Because from now onwards, we are going to share uh, lots and lots of videos uh, around CAD with you. Now, the major reason for that is the results you know, which we have uh, obtained for our students over the last few years. And specifically, if I talk about last year, we have had... 1,943 selections in IIMs and top 20 MBA colleges out of which 460 were in old IIMs, XLRI, FMS, SP Gen and Neti Mumbai. You can check out our CAD course uh, and the different uh, variants available to you uh, depending upon the different exams you are aiming for on the link which is there on your screen that is karyana.com slash online CAD coaching and in case you will have any, any doubts, any questions to ask about or uh, about any of the courses which we offer please feel free to call at the number given on the screen now uh, before we get to the topic wise breakup let us have a quick look at the expected uh, pattern of cat 2020 the pattern uh, should more or less remain the same where we have a sectional time limit of 60 minutes for all the three sections with 34 questions from verbal 32 from lrdi and 34 from quant Overall, over last three years, uh, the difficulty level of verbal has been moderate, LRDI has been difficult, and quant has been easy to moderate as as a average difficulty level over last three years. Uh, the the usual marking scheme is where you you know each question carries four marks. You get minus one for incorrect MCQ answer, and uh, there is no negative marking for non MCQ questions. Each section will have certain non MCQ questions also. On an average, verbal and LRDI will have 7 to 8 uh, non-MCQ. Quant will have around 10 to 12 non-MCQ. So that's how uh, the overall exam pattern may look uh, may look like to you even in CAT 2020 unless there are certain drastic changes introduced at the time of CAT notification being out later in the month of uh, uh, July and August this year. Coming to the important topics of verbal based on their weightage in the examination, out of uh, 34 questions of verbal, 24 are going to be from reading comprehension. That is the importance of reading comprehension. All of our students who have been studying with us and preparing with us for CAT and uh, you know this is something which we keep on repeating in verbal classes that RCs are the most important topic of verbal section. 24 out of 34 questions are going to be from this. And if you can develop 80% uh, attempt with 85 to 90% accuracy in RCs for verbal, your 99.5 plus percentile in verbal section is very, very easy. Now, uh, apart from reading comprehension, para jumbles, three to four questions, para summary, three to four questions, odd sentence out, three to four questions, para completion, two to three questions. That's how your overall uh, breakup of the verbal section would look like. Now, uh, good thing is all the questions of RC, they are going to be of MCQ base and uh, any non MCQ question will be from the other four topics which you see on your screen. Ideal attempts, a lot of people ask me that what should be the ideal attempts, uh, 27 to 29 attempts with 85 to 90 percent accuracy should be your target for a 99 plus score in verbal section. Coming to LRDI, LRDI I have uh, broadly divided into three parts. One is data interpretation out of 32 questions, 12 questions will be of uh, data interpretation which will comprise of uh, topics like tables, line graphs, bar graphs, pie charts. So these four will constitute uh, 12 questions. Then uh, logical DI, that is a uh, hybrid of LR and data interpretation. In this, the questions which are given to you, they will have certain component of them in the form of a paragraph in which some you know uh, English description would be there. And then there will be certain data points also. So logical DI, they are ideally the toughest part of your LRDI uh, set and uh, they need a very very strong preparation i'm pretty sure all of you who have been preparing with us in the cat course uh, have already started to see the concepts of logical di being developed in in your classes uh, there are 12 questions which are expected from logical di and then the simple and regular typical lr which we all talk of which we all know of uh, things like arrangements games and tournaments etc those will comprise of uh, eight questions overall 16 to 18 attempts with 85 to 90 percent accuracy should be the target for a good score 
in LRDI. Coming to the con part, uh, please understand that while there are so many coachings who waste a lot of time in numbers, numbers is the least important topic from CAT perspective. When I talk about expected number of questions in the exam, over last few years, we have not had more than two to three questions every year from numbers. It has the least weightage. Highest weightage is usually of geometry and mensuration. You get eight to 10 questions. Similarly, arithmetic, seven to 12 questions. Now, depending upon how the difficulty level of uh, the cont, uh, paper is going to be, there is going to be a certain redistribution in number of questions between geometry and arithmetic. So if paper is uh, uh, on a much easier side, you will have higher number of arithmetic questions. If the paper is on moderate side, you will have higher number of geometry questions. Followed by algebra with five to eight questions. When I say algebra, I refer to functions, graphs, quadratic equations, inequalities, linear equations. Three to four questions from PNC and probability, trigonometry two to three, numbers two to three. 16 to 19 attempts with 90 to 95% accuracy should be your target in the con section. Now, with this, I again uh, quickly give you an overview of the fact that why you should be uh, trusting us for any information, any strategy, any study plan, any information which we share with you when it comes to CAT preparation and it is completely data driven based on the number of selections we have produced year and year again since our inception in 2014 as the online CAT coaching. With this, we come to the end of this session. Uh, I wish you all the best for CAT 2020. Uh, do, do not forget to hit the bell icon on the top right hand side for subscribing to the channel. And yes, please do download Career in MBA app today from Play Store and access free videos and articles. We are going to come up with a lot of free videos on both Career in a, a website and Career in a app in upcoming days along with uh, sharing of uh, some of those videos on our YouTube channel. So do not miss any of these three. With this, once again, all the best for CAT 2020 preparation.